Hello YouTube, Chrono16 here. Now as many of you already know, there's been this talk about ISIN, a comet that was discovered recently, C2012S1, and they're forecasting this comet to be the brightest comet to ever pass Earth in recorded history. Now what I'm going to attempt to do with this video, there are many videos on YouTube about this comet, but I haven't seen any describing what you can see from the ground looking up in the sky and that's what you're looking at here on screen here with a program called starry night complete space and astronomy pack there is a link below this video to that they have great software all different price ranges there and you might want to check it out if you're interested in astronomy now what I've done is I've set this program to November 6 2013 at 8 30 in the morning obviously the sun will be up then but I want to give you a perspective of what you can see now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually back this thing up here uh, several minutes so we can get the sun to go down so we can actually realistically see in the sky what this thing is gonna look like here now on November 6 the magnitude there is on the bottom where it says apparent magnitude of ISIN is 5.53 now 5.53 a magnitude of that range is uh, equivalent to seeing the moons of Jupiter through some binoculars which if you've used binoculars to look at Jupiter you know you can see the moons of Jupiter that's not very bright but you can definitely tell the comments there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead here day at a time as this thing comes in but before I continue on with that on November 7th another comet appears in the sky at a magnitude of 6.27 and right around the same brightness as Ison is at that time uh, Enki, I believe it's pronounced, will be in the constellation Virgo. It'll show up and it's going to kind of parallel Ison as it gets closer to the sun, but it will not get anywhere near as bright as Ison is going to get here, guys. Now let's continue on forward here another day, several days. Let's jump all the way up to oh November 20th here. And as you can see from western Arkansas, where I'm located at, uh, the comet gets closer to horizon at 7.06 in the morning, but it's very bright on the, November 20th. It reaches a, an apparent uh, magnitude of 2.13, which I just want to give you some quick comparisons here. 2.13 is equivalent to uh, the planet Saturn, basically. You go outside, you see Saturn, it's going to be that bright. So it's actually getting very bright. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go forward in minutes because we're going to have to get closer to the sunrise to see the rest of this because the rest of this gets very interesting now as we go to oh, about 9 37 a.m. in the morning obviously the sun's going to be out bright at that point and we're going to jump ahead some days again here and as we get closer to the 28th where the comet reaches its uh, maximum brightness we go to the 26th and we see that the comet is a minus 1.62 which is equivalent to uh, the brightest star Cyrus or actually the planet Jupiter and approaching the brightness of Venus which is a minus four still a ways off so we continue forward here to the 27th now on the 27th uh, in the morning at 937 Ison will be a minus 3.29 according to the information I have here and that is just as bright as Venus you should definitely be able to see it and you definitely should be able to see it, as it closes in on the sun. Now let's jump ahead to November 28th and as Ison gets close to the sun I suspect that the sun will look very strange on the morning of November 28th because Ison will be so bright at this time that uh, let's see if we can center on her better here. All right Ison would be so bright at that time uh, when it gets right in there on the sun. And this is getting hard for me to see because, one, when it starts merging with the sun, it's kind of hard to 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 get a pointed point at this thing here. So let's see. What okay, so what we got here is on that morning, ice will be a minus seven point seven three, which is a uh, minus seven point seven three is just as bright as a crescent moon. Now we all know what a crescent moon looks like, so it's going to be that bright in the morning time, 
around 937 from Western Arkansas. Now let's go ahead and skip ahead minutes to in the evening time, okay? Because this is where it really gets interesting. Right before sunset here in Western Arkansas, as the day goes on, I want to go ahead and make a note. As the day goes on, ice gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And again, I suspect, I'm only guessing here, that this that the sun will start to look really strange because of um, what they're saying this thing is going to look like as it closes in on the sun. Now at 2:24 p.m. in the afternoon in western Arkansas, you look over to the south toward the southwest. Obviously, you don't want to look dead at the sun, but the sun is going to start looking weird. At this point, Ison will almost be as bright as a full moon, a minus 10. 0.63. Now, a full moon is minus 30. Is what a full moon looks like on a clear, clear night. Full moon is minus 13. Excuse me, is what a full moon looks like. And at this point, at 2:24, Ison will be a minus 10.63. Now, let's continue on to about sunset, right around five o'clock or so. And from Western Arkansas, right before the sun dips down below the horizon, there. Ison will be a whopping 12.98. Let's go a few more minutes here, actually. Okay. And at um, 5.16 Central Time, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you now, Ison gets as bright as, a, according to this information that JPL has now, Ison gets as bright as a minus 13.03 which is brighter than a full moon. So right before sunset, look to the southwest, okay? In between the southwest and west, and you will see the sun should be looking really strange, I would imagine. The tail will be pointing toward Earth. We won't be going in its debris field, guys, just to let you know. But uh, Ison will be uh, very bright, minus 13.02. You can see it right there on the bottom of the screen. Very bright, guys. I just want to make a note here real quick before I wrap this up. The Bible talks about signs in the heaven and in the stars and stuff. Heavens and in the stars. Guys, if this thing is not a sign, I don't know what is, okay? I mean, this has really got to be a sign. Anyway, the thing is going to be brighter by the time the, the sun sets. It's going to be brighter than the, than the full moon, okay? Plain and simple. Now we go ahead here to the next morning. I just want to quickly show you this. Okay, let me make sure I get this on there. We go ahead to the next morning there at about 10 16 in the morning. Anyway, the comet will emerge on the other side and it'll only be as bright as a minus 5.29. Still should be very visible, but right before sunrise, you should definitely be able to go outside and see the tail of this thing. Right before the sun comes up, the tail will be stretching halfway across the sky, guys, out toward the, uh, uh, let's take a look here real quick, out toward the north, northeast. You should be able to see the tail of uh, Ison as the sun comes up on the morning of November 29th. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Like I said, I just wanted to make a video to give you guys an, a, 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 a glimpse of what it would look like from the ground, from western Arkansas. Now, it depends on your location in the country, but nevertheless, either way, if you're on the east coast, uh, you're still going to look off toward the east, southeast uh, on those mornings of November 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and even the 29th to see the comet at its brightest points. Um, you look off toward the east, southeast, you should definitely be able to see the comet in the sky. This thing is going to be spectacular. Hopefully, if it doesn't fall apart like uh, Elenin did. And real quick, I want to throw in here, there's no evidence this thing is going to hit Earth or we're going to go in this debris field of its tail, okay? So I just want to debunk all that before that gets started. Anyway, it's going to be very interesting times in 2013. Keep your eye on the skies, guys, because I tell you, just like the Bible says, we are living in the last days, and this is definitely signs in the heavens, just like the Bible speaks of. Thanks for watching.